People's Partnership got involved with the Dirty Dream initiative just because of how inspirational the project itself is. Um, we're an organisation that's founded on social good. Uh, we've been around now for over 80 years, so it's given us lots of opportunity to integrate into our local community. The Dirty Dream project was just too good to miss. Um, and it's provided lots of opportunity for the students and the mentors involved to really excel. I think this means a huge amount. I think that in year nine, when they get this input, they are at a key stage of their education, but to have someone external come in and, and uh, reinforce those messages, having mentors coming in to give them real world experience means a massive amount. I think the balance of what they pick up in terms of the skills that they are that are shared with them, but also in terms of the importance of resilience, the importance of overcoming those worries for, for students nowadays more than ever is just crucial. Me, I firstly wanted to develop some skills in coaching people, I'd not done that before, um, and um, as a mother I also really wanted to um, work uh, in volunteering with children in some way, um, and this programme just really, it, seemed to, it sounded really rewarding uh, to be part of. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. Uh, I think for me it was being able to really use my own personal experiences and what I've gone through in life uh, just to really sort of empathise with any of the mentees that we, we got to see and it's been really, really inspiring to hear some of their stories and just the struggles that they've had and uh, I can really relate. There's a lot of pressure on students today. Um, it's been tough for them, especially with the pandemic. Coming through that, year nines were locked down at 10 and 11. There were things they should have been doing, experiences they should have been having that were taken away. Social media puts a lot of pressure on students to look a certain way, act a certain way, believe in a certain thing. Um, for me, a lot of it is belief. A lot of students lack this self-belief and they should believe in themselves because if you are told enough from whatever age that you are not enough and you won't achieve and you've got nothing over you, you start to believe it. If you hear it enough times, you start to believe it. So why don't we get out and tell students to actually know, yes, you can, and you are enough, you've always been enough. How can we make you even more? I would advise, if you are going to do this, and go into it with an open mind. Um, everything which I thought I knew about the programme before was completely wiped away, and it provides a lot more guidance and enrichment for their lives, rather than just saying, here's how to get to a job, or here's how to do this. It talks about resilience, and being a kind person and what employers look for and really highlights the skills which I think a lot of children today ignore or don't think are that important when it comes to actually getting a job.